Gomez here. I'm a software engineer at PlanetScale. I break things by day, fix them at night. <laughs> um, I'm about to walk you through a cool feature we've been working on called the Web Console, and I'm going to show it off by using our Vercel integration plus the Web Console to deploy a simple TypeScript application to Vercel. The Vercel application is super simple. It's on a GitHub repo. You can find it at PlanetScale Vercel integration example. I've already cloned my copy because I'm cool like that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a database. Let's just use our integration to create a database because uh, integration supports that. Good, so let's deploy. We're going to create it to my GitHub repo. Let's just call it web console. Create. And basically this just walks you through like deploying that app and it makes the integration a required integration. So let's just add. And over here we could go new database. We're creating a database in my world and let's just call it a database web console. And as you could see, you could pick regions here, which my teammates worked on, super cool. So let's connect to the database. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna create a database connect your Vercel application to the database and then deploy, which is super nice. So if we head back over to our repo, we see our database here. It says it was created by Vercel integration, which is good to know. So let's just click on in there. So our database currently doesn't have anything and we need to create some tables in here, right? So let's just go to main. Oh, the cool thing about web console is it's disabled by default for your production branches which i think is a good thing to have so disabling it by default will prevent people from just going into your production database and just running commands so let's just enable that save so we go back in here we go to branches we go to main and there is a new tab in here called console. If we go in here, we could start running commands. Let's just run show tables. As we could see there, there are no tables in here. So let's go back to overview and let's just create a branch to then dump a new table in and then merge. So let's just go through the whole process. So let's just call the branch web add users table. Let's create the branch. So, and the branch is initializing. We will have to wait for it. Let's head over back to Vercel. It looks like a Vercel application launched, but I believe if we try clicking on this to visit the site, it will give us an error message because it can't connect to the database because our database is not done yet. So going back to the example, there is a step on here to just create, insert an example table. We're going to copy this and we're gonna go back to a branch and we're going to go to a console. And what we're gonna do in here is we are going to copy paste this and run this command. And it basically taught us it created a table, show tables. It shows our table was created. And to get access to all the other commands we have in here to show what we support, just type help and it will quickly show you everything we support. So let's go to slash C. Let's go back to our branch. Let's create a deploy request. And let's just make sure that what we created was actually there. Yep, so we created a table, had an ID, email, password, and name. And that looks correct. And let's just add these changes to our deploy queue. So what this is going to do is this is going to just deploy this branch to our production branch and going back to overview just to make sure and branches we can delete this now because we created a table and the need for this is done so let's delete that so going back to our Vassell application now the application is up super straightforward let's go ahead and create some data in here Let's call it Gomez. Uh, let's call it Gomez at example.com. And let's just call this password one. 
It's one of the best passwords in the world. Trust me. So this created, we could create another one again. And we could just head over back to main. And because we enabled the console for the production branch, we could go into our console and we could type show tables and it'll, t it'll show us the tables we have. If we type select star from users, it would do the same thing. And I know you've been watching this and there are some cool things here. So you could collapse rows for people who love writing queries that dump a lot of data. You don't want your screen being flooded. And another thing we have here that we think is super cool is you could copy this query and share with the teammates. So I could copy this, go into another tab, paste it, and it immediately shows me the query I just run here. And I hit enter and your teammates can enter that and they could see the query you were running. And it also gives you the amount of time in running. So if you were trying to run and explain on a query you saw in query statistics, you could basically come in here, run it and see what's happening. You can run and explain on that and it will show you. Another thing we have in here that might be interesting to folks is if you try running a drop create or alto in your production branch, currently it's going to give you an error message. What we did with that is, so if I went drop table members, it's going to give me an error message and tell me, hey, you can't run like DDL commands against your production database and go ahead and create a new branch. And going through this flow will create the new branch and then redirect you to that new branch with the query that you are already running already in your console, which I think is super cool. I believe our GUI based users are really going to love this feature like myself. It's going to keep them using one app rather than switching between using our CLI in the front end. And don't get me wrong, our CLI is an amazing tool but there are some of us who are just GUI based users. who are like heavy, I like to visually see what I'm doing type of users. And we really think you're going to love this. Thanks for watching the video. Check this super cool feature out and hit us up and let us know what you think. Thank you very much.